Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting Olympiad question. We have a mixture of factorial and a cubic function. We have x factorial equal to x cubed minus x and we need to find our x. If you have your solution, you can also write your solution down in the comment section and in a few seconds we will check we will check our answers. Okay, so first of all, let's start with this x factorial. First of all, we can rewrite this x factorial as a product, all right? We can write it as x times x minus 1 factorial x minus 1 factorial if you don't understand it we can also we can also express in terms of like constant for example we have we have 5 factorial we can write this 5 factorial as 5 times 4 factorial so in terms of like constant it works absolutely great and we are we are going to solve it in terms of like this variable so this expression is also really great for us so let's change this x factorial by this by this product so let's do this right now as a result we have x times x minus 1 factorial equal to but what are we going to do on the on the right side on the right side we're going to we're going to factor x because we have x cubed we have x we can factor 1x from here so x and inside parentheses we will have x square minus 1 all right so we have x square x square minus 1. All right, and if you look closely, x right here, x right here, so we have the same, the same thing on both sides, so we can easily cancel by this, by this x, but don't forget about when we cancel this by x, we need to mention that x is not equal to, is not equal to 0. So our first, like, step, x is not equal to 0, and we're gonna cancel by this x. As a result, what do we have right here? Let's rewrite what elements uh, do we have right now. We have x minus 1 on the left side, so x minus 1 factorial, yeah? equal to x square minus 1 x square minus 1 let's look closely what do we have on the left side on the left side we have um, x minus 1 factorial so we can't like express it in another way we can't simplify this more but on the right side we have x square minus 1 and if we write right here 2 so the power of 2 it change nothing but in terms of like school knowledge this is our formula a square minus b square so as a result let's remember this formula a square minus b square i hope i think 100 percent of theorists know this formula we have a minus b times a plus b a plus b all right so right now let's let's factor this in terms of uh, our formula in terms of our school formula so as a result we have x minus 1 factorial equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1 all right times x minus 1 times x plus 1 x plus 1 all right and it's as you can see right here we have maybe like the similar expression x minus one factorial right here x minus one so it's kind of great thing for us because we have absolutely the same expression but right here we have factorial so right now let's think a little bit about this x minus one factorial okay so x minus one factorial x minus one factorial all right so uh, this expression can be written in the same way as so like that in the beginning okay so we're gonna write this expression times the previous one factorial all right so we're gonna write it as x minus one times the previous one so x minus two is the previous one and we're gonna write it in terms of factorial so absolutely the same logic in this in this or in this case okay so in uh, we're going to change this x minus one factorial by this expression all right, let's do this right now. So we have x minus 1, x minus 1, times x minus 2 factorial, x minus 2 factorial. The next thing we're going to have equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1, x minus 1, and times x plus 1. All right, and if you look closely, x minus 1, we don't have factorial right now, because in the previous step we had it, right now we don't have it, so we're going to cancel this x minus 1 factorial by this x, oh, sorry, x minus 1, we're going to cancel with this x minus 1. But don't forget about, about our restriction, because right here we have that our x is not equal to is not equal to 1. So right now, as you can see, x is not equal to 0, x is not equal to 1, so don't forget about it, we're going to... We're gonna avoid this uh, root for in our question. We're gonna reject it. So right now, let's write what expression do we have after these steps. We have x minus two factorial, all right? So we have x minus two factorial. So we have x minus two. We have factorial equal to. We have right here x plus one, all right? So we have right here x plus one. And right now, how can I solve this this equation? Because this is like a mixture of factorial, a linear function, so it's like a mix of, uh, of uh, two things, two different things, because factorial is not a good thing in terms of like equation, because we, we don't prefer to solve uh, equations when we have factorial, it's not like a usual thing for us, yeah? So right now, let's try to solve this equation. First of all, let's use our substitution, so let 
x minus 2, so this expression inside our factorial sign, let's call this, for example, as t, all right? And from here, our x is equal to, is equal to t plus 2, t plus 2. All right, so we have right here x, we have x, we're going to change it, and we have our x minus 2 equal to t. So right now, let's write how our equation will look like. So let's, let's look at it. So we have x minus 2 equal to t, so we have t factorial, t factorial equal to, instead of x, we're going to write t plus 2, so we have t plus 2 and plus 1, all right? So as a result, what do we have? We have t factorial equal to t plus 3. 2 plus 1 equal to 3, so t plus 3. So this is our equation right now, and to be honest, we can easily uh, suppose uh, roots, because we have factorial, we have uh, t factorial equal to t plus 3, so we don't have like a cubes that we had in the beginning, we have in the beginning we had x cubed, we have x, right now we have very easy expression, so we can easily suppose, suppose our roots. So let's see what will happen, because we don't have like a huge value, so let's see what will happen when we suppose suppose our roots okay so suppose first first of all if if our t is equal to one if our t is equal to one what do we have as a result we have one factorial equal to one plus three to be honest this is absolutely absolutely wrong so when we plug in t right here we we can get our root okay the second one if t is equal to two let's see what will happen t equal to two so from here we have two factorial equal to 2 plus 3. We have 2 factorial equal to 2, 2 plus 3 equal to 5, so not good for us, so we're gonna cancel this. Let's go to the third one, let's see what will happen. So let's if t equal to t equal to 3. As a result, what do we have? 3 factorial equal to equal to, right here we have 3 plus 3. Let's see what will happen. 3 factorial equal to equal to 1 times 2 times 3 equal to 6. And as a result, on the right side, we have the same thick. So as you can see, we can easily get that this is a correct root for us. But this is root in terms of in terms of t, because we had it in the previous in the previous step. So right now, let's go back to our substitution, because in the beginning, we had x equal to t plus two, and we know that t equal to three. So since since x is equal to x equal to t plus two. From here, we have that x equal to 3 plus 2, 3 plus 2, equal to, equal to 5. So, so right here, uh, t is equal to 3, and this get to a correct answer right here. And uh, don't forget about the expression in the beginning, all right? So we are talking about the expression in the beginning, so let's write it. So in the beginning, we had x factorial, x factorial equal to x cubed minus x. And let's check it. Let's check this root. Let's see what will happen when we check it. So we know that x is equal to um, x is equal to 5. Let's see what will happen when we plug in our of x equal to 5 to this equation. So let's see what. So we have check right here. We have x factorial 5 factorial equal to 5 cube minus 5. All right, so let's see what will happen. So we have 5 factorial equal to a product. So 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 on the on the left side we have this product and uh, 5 cube equal to 5 times 5 times 5 i hope you th you know it this is like a table case this is 125 and minus minus 5 and 5 factorial this is also a table case so i hope you i hope you understand it that uh, our 5 factorial this is also a table case this is our 120 equal to also 100 and 120 so absolutely absolutely correct correct solution. And we can easily write our answer, our answer, uh, x is equal to 5, x is equal to 5. And this is my approach, because a uh, very interesting thing right here, we have x cubed. And in terms of like fundamental theorem of algebra, it means that we have right here, when we have x cubed, it means that we have at least three roots, like we don't know uh, how many real numbers, how many complex numbers, right here we have x cubed, so it means that we have three roots. I find one root, and let's see what will happen, maybe someone want to solve it in terms of like complex number, it will be really interesting to exchange information if you have your notes about this question, uh, what we'll see when we consider uh, the second and the third root, it'll be also really interesting, really interesting for us. And this is my explanation to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new. The main idea is to reduce a power because, for example, when we have right here x to the 6th power or x to the 10th power, so uh, with this reducing method we can easily step by step cancel in uh, each of these parentheses and as a result we can easily get um, our root in terms of like this 
in terms of like this uh, method okay so we uh, check this a root in terms of t step by step. So this is my explanation to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new a little bit. I also write your notes, write the solution down into the comment section. It would be really interesting to exchange information. It would be really interesting to see your respond, uh, to see your solution. What do you think about this x cube? Because in terms of like fundamental theorem of algebra, we have uh, we will have like three roots, uh, at least like um, two, one real or two complex, or in a reverse way, two complex, one real number root. So it turns into a big argument. So if you have your notes about it, also write your thoughts down in the comment section. In terms of real numbers, we have x equal to 5, and it looks like only one real number solution. So thank you everyone for your time. Wish you all the best. See you in the next videos.